What's up guys? It's um, it's just Rick today. The day is finally upon us painting. And we're painting practically half the house. We're painting the den, painting the kitchen, or we're starting on paint at least. And we're painting the upstairs master bedroom, closet, bathroom, and hallway. But uh, I wanted to show you guys the tape job, which was the most daunting task in the world because we will be using a paint sprayer today. Uh, we have to put primer on everything. My primer choice is Kills, which requires some nice ventilation. So I got some plans around that with some box fans and some windows and opening some doors and stuff to get ventilation channels so that I don't uh, pass out and die. But that's another story. Thankfully, we're not in any basement where we don't have ventilation issues. I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of the taped off areas of downstairs and then we'll go upstairs and then we'll get the paint sprayer out and we'll get started with uh, spraying the primer and then we're gonna be spraying all of the ceilings and the trims today and then tomorrow we're gonna have to re-tape off a lot of stuff to then paint the walls. So the den wasn't really much to tape off. I will have to take all the light pucks out before we uh, start painting taped off the metal part of the fireplace. We'll be priming this whole thing because we are going to paint it. We have the inside, this was very tedious to do, but the inside glass panels of every one of these doors have been prepped and taped off. We have gone through and sanded everything and used a stripper to get all these surfaces ready to paint, including this wood chair rail or whatever you wanna call it here. Up here, we are protecting the floors. Down here, we got new floor coming on Friday. Today is Wednesday, so we are on a little bit of a time crunch here. Move the fridge over here. We're gonna cover it up. We have all the floors taped We're not doing in the laundry room, but this is kind of my makeshift solution There is a slit in the center of that so that you can get in and out But um, it is pretty much taped off so that we can spray this side of the trim taped into there All the shelves got removed we same thing here in this doorway taped off the countertop We are going to be spraying all the cabinets taped off all the insides of the cabinets taped off the insides of the windows We're gonna spray the trim. We're gonna spray the backsplash as well well, so this is a little bit of a project we're doing as well. Uh, we're gonna use some appliance epoxy, white appliance epoxy, after we hit this with primer to basically make the backsplash white. And uh, we did tape off the stainless steel piece in the center there because we wanted to save that, but we're gonna paint the rest of this a nice bright white. And along that line, we're gonna get a grout pen. This is gonna be one of Christine's projects, but we're gonna get a grout pen, basically paint in the grout line with whatever color we want. That light is no longer gonna be there. I'm gonna build shelving eventually, so that's not important. We removed the microwave, we removed the, uh, we removed the microwave, we removed the oven, all that's prepped. We have no cabinets over here. We don't really care about that backsplash because I'm gonna put plywood and build like a casing for the fridge to actually slide into as well as some side shelving here and we'll bring the outlets up into the casing with some new boxes. We taped off in here. We're not really too concerned about getting too much paint in there because uh, that's just a utility closet. Everything is prepped. Everything has been cleaned, and um, so let's, uh, let's head upstairs. Before I head upstairs, this is kind of the back end right now. We got all the crap in the, the in the dining room and in the office. Lots of crap in here. Anyways, going up the stairs. Do you, um, I have no lighting upstairs right now. I've already taken all the lights out because this is where we're going to start. But we've taped off the doorways. The doors themselves are taped. Even though we will be painting the doors, we're using them more as a buffer right now so that we don't get paint into the other rooms. So all the doors are like that. Floors don't need to be taped up here. Um, the Doors have been removed in here, removed all the inner shelving. Lights are removed in here, all the windows are taped off. We have all of the flooring taped off in here. We taped off the whole entire vanity section in the backsplash or the tile up the wall. Same thing in the bathroom, we've removed all the shelving up top. Taped off the toilet, taped off the vanity, taped off the shower completely, it's all taped off. Master, master bath, master closet, hallway, den, kitchen, all the closets downstairs, all that's getting painted today. I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and bring all the stuff upstairs that I need to get started with priming the upstairs. So, catch you guys in a bit. Just finished up the master sweet basically so everything in the master is primed uh had to go get more kills but yeah moving into the hallway hallway should be pretty quick there's not much in here to paint but we'll get down the hallway and we'll be good to go got my ventilation working out pretty well 
I'm going to uh, open up this door down here because i got to close the bedroom. And uh, yeah, spray the hallway next. We put all the lights back in and the whole thing is white. Uh, the walls are just primer, but the ceiling is actually painted. This is trim painted, so it's got some gloss to it. The windows, you can kind of see there, have been trim painted. Uh, we're gonna start upstairs though, painting the walls with the roller. The epoxy, so we, we kills the, the backsplash, and then we hit it with some epoxy. And it's really cool. It's got a really nice glossy shine to it. It feels like normal tile. It's awesome. And here's what the master looks like before we get ready to paint it. We're gonna be using the power roller. This attaches to the paint sprayer, basically so you never have to dip it in paint. Yeah, this is the, the finished ceiling looks like. Very clean, turned out really well. The trim on the windows turned out well too. We are standing here admiring. I think I actually like the fireplace white. Yeah, we were thinking about doing the fireplace like a dark gray. I'm not even sure you want to do the doors dark gray anymore. I know, it's just so, it's so pretty. It's just gonna look really clean with a lot of white trim and white doors and white fireplace. I, I don't even know about painting the mantle other color than white. This is two coats of gray on the walls. It looks awesome, it's drying awesome. We still haven't painted really any of the kitchen. And we still need the molding. Oh yeah, and we still gotta put crown molding in, but honestly, we could get away with not having crown molding for a little while. <laughs> so these are our floors, it's called graphite. It's corked, it's not the correct design that we ordered, but we're gonna go with it. It's the right color is the wrong type of cork design. Ours is supposed to be more squarey. This one is just kind of more of a natural wood looking color, uh, design, so. But all that, and then they got the glue in here and Soap to clean it apparently. All came in with it. That's the that's what you like wax it with after it's installed. That's our old stove and that's our new stove. That requires gas though, which we don't have currently. We gotta get a gas line ran. Anyways, uh ceiling fans are here. We got four for all four bathrooms. We got a new light for in the foyer. We have a hood range somewhere over there for underneath the or above the, the new the new range. Yeah, we got we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff in here. Let's go upstairs and see how upstairs looks. We are in the master. And the walls might look a little weird. It's because it's not dry yet at all. Yeah, like it's still wet. Downstairs is drying a lot better, but also we have the fan down there going, don't we? That's why it's drying better. But anyways, it'll it'll all dry. It'll all be good tomorrow. It is a little bit on the cool side. It's like 68, 70. A little bit of humidity in here, so it'll take a little bit longer to dry, but it looks Awesome. The back portion of the bathroom is going to be our darker gray. So we have a slightly darker tone called a uh, web gray, right? That's gray screen. No, no, we're using network gray in there. Network gray. Yeah. And then there's web gray. But the trim looks solid. We will have to somehow paint around that. That's going to be fun when this gets taken off. I'm super excited. You excited? It looks good. But that wraps up uh, this, uh, this video, whatever this video is, painting the walls. Painted the walls, painted the trim, painted the ceilings, and primed everything in basically a day and a half. Gotta say, that paint sprayer, the Graco paint sprayer, amazing, and the power roller that we we're using today made this shit fly. The second coat up here took 30 minutes for the master back there and in the closet. 30 minutes, done. That is with three people, two people doing edging work and trim, cutting in and all that, while one person is just rolling the so, anyways guys, like, comment, subscribe, and Christine, bye. Bye.